Okay, so uh, this is the first outfit that he's trying on. The shirt looks like it fits him really good. The sleeves, like, they go to a good length. Um, it might be a little bit long, just a little bit. Not too bad, honestly, for the size. He's nine years old, and the size says size 20, but I think for the most part, they look good. Um, I feel like with the wash and everything, they'll be perfect. So the shirt, even though it's a little bit long, I think it still fit him good. And then the pants, the legs to the bottom, they're perfect, honestly. I think for the size um, being a 20 as well, I think they fit perfect. The length to the bottom is perfect. They look pretty good. This is how they look in the back. Um, the length is perfect. So I think they all look, I think this is a really good size, honestly. I feel like he's going to be able to wear it for a good while, which is what, what I want, honestly. Like, I just hate him growing out of stuff so quick. That's why, honestly, I'd rather him have stuff that can fit him a little bit long, something that we could fold rather than him having um, something that fits him super, super small and uncomfortable. So yeah, that's the first um, outfit and now he's gonna go try on. Okay, so now he's gonna go try on the grayish jeans with the red um, collared top. And we'll be right back. That. Okay guys, so this is outfit number two. Um, I think it looks really nice. The top, like I said, could run a little bit big, like long, but not too long. I mean, for, like I said, for being a size 20, whatever that means, because I thought I got size 16. Um, for being that size, like I feel like it's still pretty good. You know, like I feel like with the wash as well, like these do shrink, like I've noticed that from H&M. Uh, I think it fits good. The sleeves fit pretty good. So like I said, I think for the jeans, like I think they also fit perfect. Um, they have a good length. They stop at a good length too. Um, you could tell that they're like, I mean, a little bit long, but because they're skinny, they stop. They still stop right here. They you don't have to worry about them like ripping the bottom part or nothing like that. Um, turn around. That's how they look from the back. So like I said, they have a good fit. I mean, the waist like it's pretty good. Everything looks really nice. So yeah, I think this one is also a win. So do you like it? Mm. Me too. Yeah, I think it's... Should Mommy. we do start like Mommy. rating it from out of 10? Mommy. You can. I'll give I this... like it too. Okay, buddy. Um, I got a cute fish. Um, an 8 out of 10. I got a baby. That's I think that's a pretty good a um, rate. I mean, I giving that these items, like I, I said, were at really good prices. I'm gonna have him throw on uh, over now. this hoodie yes, on top of this face. outfit just so he could have it, just so he could try it on. Okay. Let me take off this tag. Um, 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 this is okay. I think. Yes, that's definitely a really good fit. I think this is a good size that we got for him in the sweater, size 20 as well. Um, it fits really good and <clears throat> he'll have a good amount of time to wear this and it won't, he won't like um, outgrow it quick. So yeah, I think that's a good size and it also looks really nice. So I think, yeah, that's a, that's a, definitely a win. Do you I like it? Yeah, I really like it. And I like it Mickey Mouse? Um, are we too bright? I hope we're not too bright. So now he's gonna try on the emerald green uh, chinos with the grayish collared top. Okay guys, so I think this is uh, outfit number three. I think the shirt fits perfect. Um, the length could be a little bit shorter, but I still think it's a good size. Um, with the wash, it's gonna, it's gonna shrink, so it's, it's fine. Um, he doesn't have the inside little buttoned like um, all the way to like this where it won't slide down but it's still good um we're gonna fix that when he wears them but the length perfect mm. nine out of ten yeah i love these colors i'm obsessed so now he's gonna try on his his hoodie um i really do like this hoodie a lot i love the hoodie actually i'm scared that it's gonna stain or get super dirty but I love the hoodie. It looks really nice. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. That's all we got from H&M for him. Um, I wish we would have done a, a try on haul for his like old navy clothes and Target clothes as well. But we already like fixed, like hung up the, that clothes. We already fixed it, um, put it away. So we're not gonna do that. If you like this haul, let me know and.
we can probably do another one in the future. So, yeah. I'll get another hoodie for sure. But yeah, that's it for today. I mean, that's it for this part. Now I'm going to show you guys what I got from my Morphe. And yeah, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so um, now I want to show you guys what I got from Morphe. Um, so first item is... I got these Morphe sprays. Um, they came with the regular size and the smaller travel size. Um, I had ran out of my Morphe setting sprays and... I definitely needed to restock these um, so when I saw that they were having these like basically it's like a like I mean it's not that small like it's a good size I feel like um, but these came together for dang it I forgot I forgot how much I paid for these but they weren't even that expensive I think like to be honest I feel like they were like the price of a regular one plus they were having a 40% off that day so like heck yes I took advantage of that um, so this is like, I, I want to say it's like the Christmas um, packaging or something like that. Like the holidays packaging. So I got these. But then I got the Morphe and Jeffree Star setting sprays. Because um, they were only $5. I do think that this was such a good deal. And personally, I love the way that it smells. Like when I put it on, I like the strawberry scent that these have. Um, so I thought that $5 for the full size um, was a really good deal, so I did stock up on that. So now I'm pretty stocked on my Morphe setting sprays, so I'm happy about that. Then I got these um, Morphe Premium Lashes in the style Glambassador. Glambassador. So they look like that. I think these are very, 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 very pretty. Um, I can't wait to try them on. And then, the star of the show, I got the Morphe, um, dang it, can you see it? And I got the Morphe and James Charles, um, collab brushes. I got the entire set. I want to say I got them for like 80 something. They were having their 40% off. These were on a good sale in general. And then after that, I was able to put the code and I got them for, I think, 89 which is such a good deal because um, I believe they're like 189 right now, I think. And so, yeah, I'm like really excited about that. And this is, I already opened them. Like, I opened each individual um, brush because they, they all came packaged in a very, very, very nice package. Like, packaging-wise, you know, the brushes were... Uh, very nicely packaged they were they all came in its own little sleeve but so I did take them off so they look like this I'm so happy about this case you know covering um, that you clip in the, on the side and this is like a perfect uh, place to like put your brushes in just to like you know use them you can see all of them through the top I'm very excited about these um, I thought that was such a good deal that we were able to do um, the extra 40% off of these for their Cyber Monday um, sale. So I got the James brushes, the James Charles brushes. Um, I'm excited for this one because I see a lot of like YouTubers, uh, makeup artists on YouTube and stuff use them use this one as like the bronzer, like the the. Um, all over bronzer which I'm very excited for because I've always been wanting this one but I just haven't bought it like you know by itself so I'm excited about that one I did also get so I quickly want to show you guys this individual brush that I did get aside from the uh, James Charles brushes I got this um, Morphe E63 um, so the reason why I got this one is because if you guys can see like from the side it looks like this and it has like this slant like it looks like like a, like it it, it kind of like slants upward and so this side is like a little bit flat you know i saw a lot of people like use this as a foundation brush which is what is um on the website it is a foundation brush but like i guess it's like very very nice to like blend your foundation i mean it looks like it'll look like it looks like it'll do like a seamless job i'm excited to try this one as a foundation brush um you know, if it doesn't work out as a foundation brush, I could also also use it to blend out my, um, my, uh, what's it called? My contour, my cream contour. So I could use it for that too, but I do want to use it as a foundation brush first. But I'm very excited for this one. 
super super excited for this one it's very fluffy very thick very uh nice so yeah so that's aside from the morphe brushes mm, these also came with um the beauty blender the morphe beauty blender and I, I'm not 100% sure about the Beauty Blender. I've tried it. I got the uh, Jeffree Star ones when they first came out. I just don't think personally, like, I wasn't a big fan of, like, how, like, I feel like they're kind of hard. Um, I don't know if anyone else has that feeling about the Morphe um, sponges, but I personally do. Like, I feel like they're kind of hard, like, even though you, like, fluff them up with the water and everything. Like, I still feel like they're kind of hard on the face. That's just my opinion. But, I mean, they're not, it's not bad. Like, I, I can deal with it, but I just prefer not to. Like, there's other, other so softer um, sponges. I'm still going to use it, I'm sure. But, yeah, then it came with um, the Morphe M439, which is a good foundation brush. Um, I do have this one in my kit already, but I'm excited to have another one because my other one's, like, extremely old. Like, I'm talking years old when, um, I think, uh, when Manny MUA was talking about his favorite Morphe brushes. So... Um, that's when I, that's since then I've had the other brush, which I loved, but I'm just excited to have another one because the other one's like, I mean, it looks good, but I feel like I need a new one. Um, so yeah, and then it, it also came with the Morphe M405, looks like that. Um, this one's also good for like your contour. And then it came with the Morphe E4, which I think I do have this one already in my kit. But um, it's good to have double. Personally, these to me, like, do the same thing, you know. But you could also use one of these for a blush, which works perfectly fine, you know. But um, I don't think that was necessary. The This one is the E48, which is good to um, put on your, your uh, setting powder. So this one's pretty good if you don't want to um, bake with your beauty blender. You just put on your setting powder with this one, which I think it's really good. I love this one. Then we got um, a Morphe M173. I would use... Th this is how it looks. I would use this one to blend out my um, concealer under my eye. Blend out my, con my concealer on my whole eyelid. Um, what else? Yeah, I would use it for that. So this one is good for highlight. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers talk about it. The M501, good to highlight with. So I'm excited for that one. Then we got this uh, M, I mean E62 brush. It looks like this. This one is a very small, um, like slant, like it has a little slant on it. This one's good for your um, nose contour. So, I'm excited for this one. Then we got, um, I know we got doubles of some brushes because he had doubles. He even had triples of some. Let me see. 5443, 443, 443. Okay, so this one he tripled in brushes. Um, it's the M443. And this is a good blending brush. It's the one with the, like, it's like more pinched. The bristles are more pinched. Um, so this one's good to uh, blend out the crease um, If you have like color that you just want to blend out like very like in detail not like a full um, One color blend out. It's more of like a detail like deeper color on the crease That's good to have three of because if you're using color and you need a new brush and you don't have nothing to clean them with or you know at hand it's good to have three of those and then we got, I want to say it's also three of these. Yep, this is a M441. This is a, um, a blending brush. So this one, it looks like it would be the same as the other one, but this one's different. This one's a fluffier, a fluffier brush. It doesn't have the pinched, um, like right here, it's not pinched. It's more fluffy. So this one's good for an all over eye uh, buffing. Um, that way you can have like, like a, what's it called? Like a smoky look all around. That one's good for that. I love this blending brush. I'm super excited for this one. I actually don't have this one in my kit yet. But I do hear really good things about it. And then we have the... We have two of these. This is the M224. And this one is... Um, to me, it looks kind of like these. But not really. But let me show you guys. 
looks kind of like the M116. That's the M116. So they look like that. They kind of look similar for me, you know? Like, I feel like they look similar in the, like, the style. But this one with the brown bristles is more of, like, a softer feel. And this one's, like, a, like a harder feel. Okay, so my camera shut off and the the setting is probably moved um but i'm gonna keep showing you guys the brushes that it came with we have a couple more um it came with three of these this is the m456 it looks like this this one is a smaller tapered uh blending brush so it's um it reminds me of the m443 but just like a smaller version version of it that's the comparison but they're both uh tapered like if you look at them from the side they're both tapered they're both tapered except the m456 is a lot smaller a lot more tapered very nice for detail this one's perfect for detailed blending very detailed very small um, packing like in the crease color you know um, I think this one's perfect to have in your kit I'm happy I have three of them and then we have M152 it looks like that so it's not too tapered it's like kind of fluffy but it is kind of tapered um, this one would be good to like uh, put put on your glitters on your lid if you have glitters um you could even smudge out um color under your eye you can do a bunch of stuff with small detailed brushes i mean none of the brushes have their own thing that you could use them for obviously you can use them for anything you like and how you prefer to use your brushes so there's no uh wrong or right on how to use your brushes you know but then we have two of the M124. They look like this. So this is um, the difference. This is both of them right here on the side. Um, this one, the M124, it's just a little bit more um, like thin from the side. This is the side view. Uh, so that one's a little bit more thin. Um, I mean, I think you could use them for, you know, whatever you want. I think it's like the same concept. You could also smudge stuff under your eyes. Good for me to have like a lot of uh, sets like this with doubles because I couldn't have keep one and keep one for my kit for my, um, when I do makeup. So there's that. And then there's the M431, which is a, it's, I think these are called, I think these are called uh, pencil smudging like pencil smudging or pencil smudge or something like that um but that's how that one looks um i use these to uh, to smudge um color under your eye like i said you can use these for different things but that's what pencil smudgy brushes are used for here is another um this is a this is the m506 kind of reminds me like the pencil the one that i just showed to be honest but it is fluffier it's not as dense the bristles are different this these bristles are softer the black the black bristles are softer the ones on this brush are a little bit rougher but you could also blend um very detailed with this one as well and you could also blend um like a lighter color under your eye you can use it for anything then we have the M410, which is like this um, flat, I think it's called a flat concealer brush. <laughs> Looks like that. It's good to clean out concealer under your brows as well. I've seen it done on YouTube and I'm, I'm really happy that I have this brush in my kit because I didn't have that. A lot of these I didn't have, to be honest. Then we have... Um, the Morphe M158, which I'm pretty sure I did have, th I do have this one in my kit, but I love it. And I can never go wrong with having um, a lot of spoolies, which these brushes, like spoolies, are different than the ones that you just like buy or like the disposable kind. Like I don't like those. These are really good. Just like right now, it just made a huge difference on my brows, to be honest. Like. 
I'm missing a little hair right here, so it like makes my brow look different. <laughs> but you see, like I love these. Um personally I don't think this is like the smallest, you know, like the one that I use right now, I think it's like a MAC. Or the Anastasia one, I'm not sure. One of those two, which I love both of those. But I wouldn't use this one for my brows. It's, it's a little bit... It's not as flat and like stiff as I like it to be. Then we have the M250-1. This is a... Like, um... This is an eyeliner brush. Very, 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 very thin little eyeliner brush. It looks like that. Not perfect for, um... Like, if you have a cream eyeliner that you like to use, perfect for that. Um, if you have, like, colored paints, like those paint palettes, um, you could just get a color and do a eyeliner with that. So I'm very happy for those. And then, yeah, that's it. And just uh, came with a beauty blender, and that's what I got from Morphe. So, yeah, I was going to do um, a demo using the brushes today. But honestly, it's already kind of late and this this um, video is already kind of really long because I did my son's H&M um, haul. So I'm not going to do the demo today, but I will do it tomorrow for sure, for sure, for sure. Tomorrow I'm going to sit down and I'm going to use all these brushes. Well, not all of them, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to use most of the brushes and um, I'm going to use the, my new lashes and the setting spray. And that way you guys can see... Um, if I like the brushes and stuff, but yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Vlogmas Day. What is it? What's today? So today's Vlogmas Day 9. I'll see you guys back on Vlogmas Day 10, right? No. Yes. So I'll be back on Vlogmas Day 10, but you guys won't see it till the 11th. You guys won't see this one until the 10th.